We traveled over four hours to a car show in a blizzard, had power outages at the show, and still managed to spend over $10,000 on sports cards. Let me show you guys all of these pickups from the Ship Show on a Card Show. So many people to thank and know that, like, like you said, this is, this is only the beginning. Welcome back to Car Talk. Thousands of people. Collections, card shops, and collectors. 47.5, you're, you're good to go. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day. So, All right, what's going on, YouTube? Card Collector 2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today, we're back for another pickups video, this time from Ship Shawana. You guys have not seen it. The videos are down below, both videos 1 and 2. Uh, so the first day, as I mentioned in the intro, uh, the first day had a blizzard that we had to drive through to get there, as well as some power outages we had to deal with at the show. Uh, so it was an interesting experience to say the least, and yet it was still a great turnout, and we still had a ton of success. Uh, you probably can't see all of it in the, in, the, in the camera, but there are three, six, 10 different piles, the two small ones being here. Everything else is a pretty, pretty significant pile right everything is a is a pretty good stack here so a lot of stuff to get into let me show you guys what we've got again these are in no particular order but i'll try to talk about the deals as we go through them if you guys have never been to this one and you're in the area i definitely recommend it we talked about it in the vlog we talk about it a lot on this channel but ship Shawana is really one of the best card shows and again it's in the middle of nowhere but it always has a great turnout has good dealers run by good people again i talk about it so so much you guys are probably tired of hearing it, but it is a show I, I really enjoy going to for all of those reasons. Uh, I got some Joey B. Got a nice J-Rod Sapphire. These are all over the place. I talked about it in the video when I, uh, it, was, it was in this deal um, towards the end on day two. But there are comps on this really all over the place. But he's one of those guys we always get asked about. Joey B. 10, Ellie De La Cruz, uh, first Bowman Chromes. Uh, some Joey B stuff. I, I talk about him all the time. Move a lot of him. Uh, Acuna. Then you got a cool Saint Squad. Pierre Thomas, Breeze, Colston, Jimmy Graham out of 99. Pool Holes, Bat. I thought these were kind of cool. I figure some uh, some Marvel fans might appreciate these in shop. They weren't very expensive, and I thought they were just neat. Uh, Iron Man, Captain America, and Hulk patches. Uh, Joe Burrow, Joe Burrow. T. Higgins, Ken Griffey. Uh, shout out to my guy, uh, Brooksy, on the uh, KJ Hill gift. Jamar Chase jersey. I'll put some local stuff in this show. All right, another random pile. I guess we can finish this first deck. I got a Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, Heroes, Watt. This is like the Dollar Tree, Joe Burrow, the Yellow Parallel. I believe that's what that's from. Uh, but I know the Yellow Paros Parallels actually do okay every now and then. Uh, some Burrow, a Jabo, some Fields, uh, Joe Thomas, Boogie Basham, Cracked Ice. Surprised those don't do more. I couldn't believe there was a sale on this at like $1.25. That was surprising. Uh, Corbin Burns, uh, Jack Ham, Steven Strasburg. I like the Heritage Red Ink Auto, uh, the real one. I think that's a cool set. Uh, Swagger, numbered out of 50 of Jay Jets, AJ Brown, Jerry West, the Logo Man. This is a Lazard booklet from NT, NT Collegiate, his rookie year. Not bad. I think it's numbered, uh, yeah, out of 99. Uh, Molly McGrath, Goodwin Champions Auto, Watt out of 25, Jay Jets, uh, Field Level, Paul Warfield, is a Buckeye, uh, is it Dallas Goddard, I think, out of 50, hopefully I didn't butcher that, uh, Joe Burrow out of 99. Peyton Manning, John Cena, John Cena, uh, Andre Dawson, Eloy, and Ichiro. So right off the rip, you can tell there's a ton of variety in this. We got Marvel patches, Molly McGrath autos, uh, we got John Cena relics, we've got some graded cards, we've got some Joe Burrow, we got some baseball, we've got some booklets, a uh, little bit of everything. So that's really how this, this show went. Another cool one. Game used all-star piece, Charlie Blackman out of nine. T. Higgins, impeccable. Uh, poor timing on that. Um, I Again, this is recorded a little early, so things could change, but Joe Mixon with some uh, troubling reports 
early. It's all, like, uh, again, all allegedly, but hopefully it turns out to be nothing serious. But at the moment, some of the uh, reports being discussed, that's probably a, an unfortunate card. We'll see. Fingers crossed it all turns out to be nothing. Uh, Debo Samuel Beckham at a 25. He's a five bucks on this. I mean, like, I'm not a big OBJ or LB, LSU guy, but OBJ, I mean, that catch was crazy. He had some crazy good years. Cracked ice pads at a 25. Sure. Josh Jacobs, Ricky Otto, Swift, Ricky Otto. Nice Tyler Lockett patch at a 25. Thought the patch was cool. Rice and Steve Young, Devontae Adams, uh, Darius Leonard, <clears throat> Johnny Dixon. Cool one for the uh, Guardians. Lindor, Ramirez, Bauer, and Kluber at a 99. Dallas Clark. Scary Terry, my guy, still one of the nicest athletes I've ever met. Uh, Terrell Davis, Nick Chubb, Zeke, 15 of 99, that's his college jersey number. Uh, out of 99, Sanders, more Scary Terry, Manning, Elway, Marino, and Elway. Just can't go wrong with those uh, Hall of Fame jerseys of Marino, Elway, guys like that. Uh, Stevie Eiserman, PSA 10. Jordan Love, I thought this was kind of cool. I've never seen the green ink on Love, but I saw the... Uh, the green on the board, the green on the auto. It intrigued me. Couple Caleb Williams autos. It is amazing how well his stuff sells. He's one of Heisman, but it seems like there's a lot of hype around him. I've heard a lot of mock drafts have him as the number one QB next year. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of hype building around Caleb Williams. I know the Bowman University stuff that is out now has him in it, um, but I picked this up. He is one of those guys that we've been asked for a lot lately. Um, just seems like there's a lot of hype building around him. So we'll see. A lot of time left between now and then, uh, but with a Heisman under his belt, it was uh, I was definitely, I've definitely been a little surprised at how much demand there is for Caleb Williams stuff in the last four months, three months or so. Uh, Bijan Stud, Trey Smith, that was actually a gift from a collector. I thought that was really cool. Out of fifty, can't go wrong. Last Heisman Trophy out of Ohio State. Uh, some UFC stuff. Picked this up in a lot. Don't know as much about this. Moreno. Some cool stuff, some numbered. We put a lot of these on our Whatnot channel. Uh, Ian Gary, Ian Gary, Ian Gary. Uh, a lot of that stuff goes on our Whatnot channel. We're trying to build a box and shop, so some of it might go in shop, but we actually get asked for it on, on Whatnot, so. Try to have variety. You guys know that. Uh, some Reds, Benny Montgomery, Jay Jets, Max Muncy, Dominguez, Amonra, uh, Aaron Donald, Snakeskin out of 88. Curry, Randall, Herbert, Scotty Pippen. That's the green Fanatics ice. Love picking those up. I feel like those are always uh, always selling for a few bucks. Devonta Smith numbered, and then an Anthony Simons auto out of 99. All right, this is really cool. I pick her stuff up every now and then when I see it, and it makes sense. I feel like she's one of those players from 16, 17 years in cards that I just... It's one of those people that I've picked up, and she's always sold. Um, just, you know, not going to compare accomplishments to Tom Brady or anyone or Jordan or LeBron, but I just feel like every time I've ever picked up Finch pieces, she always, always sells. Um, never really watched her play a lot. I just, I know about her and I, uh, I know she has a following. So for 20 bucks, I was like, Hey, the Arizona patch is cool. That's where she went to school. Um, I was like, this has got to be worth 20 bucks. So I bought it. We'll see what happens. Uh, Tiki Barbarato, uh, Johnny Damon, McNabb, Janikowski, Zach Martin, Louis Lips out of five. Reggie Bush, tops ten. I can't believe those don't sell for anything. Uh, Jay Jets, rookie out of 60. Uh, McCaffrey, one on one plate. Orlando Pace, I think those were both gifts. Uh, Pace, all time guy. Super cool. Saw him at the airport one time. Just ginormous. Uh, definitely, definitely a big guy. Uh, some more Pace stuff, Pace, Pace, uh, Finest Masters. I actually have one of those in uh, 10. It's a, it's a cool PC card. I love the love the Buckeye stuff. All right, got a nice Eddie George Contenders playoff football. Uh, Chase Young, Njoku, JOK, my guy, Blaze Jordan. Uh, Garrett Wilson, Prestige insert, Eddie George medal. Uh, Orlando pick, this is another one that was a gift. I don't think I own one of these. Topps Chrome Rookie Refractor. I thought that was awesome. Just, again, guys that don't have a million cards. Hall of Famer, stud, all-time guy. 
What a cool piece for the PC. And then a Reggie Miller Finest Refractor. I believe this is first year Finest. Uh, I'm sure the basketball fanatics can correct me if I'm wrong. It's either first year or second year. I always get those two confused, but I think that's first year Finest. All right, moving along. Shout out to those of you still here, still hanging out with us. Trey Lance, Fields, Dominique, Kyle Trask. We'll see what happens there, but I feel like those are some cheap, cool parallels. Uh, I bought these. I probably could have talked about it in the vlog, but it was so early in the morning I, did, I didn't, didn't think about it. Uh, I pick these up. Sometimes I buy things, and there might be some in here that I'll talk about when I see them. But this to me was a, he may be relevant soon. He may be relevant between now and the time this video is released. Uh, but if Ramsey is relevant soon and Ramsey has a moment and gets traded or signed, whatever it is, signed somewhere else, uh, that could have that team looking for his cards. So I thought at a few bucks a piece, this would be something that would be cool to uh, to pick up and just, just have. You never know. Again, it's an $8 investment. We probably got a discount. So let's say $6 investment. It's a dollar fifty a piece uh, to see if when he signs elsewhere, if it does anything to his cards. Again, sometimes it's just about the repetition and learning and seeing if uh, a six dollar investment pays off or not at all. So, uh, but again, the knowledge and the repetition will be of value. Uh, Derwin James, feel like that was good for a dollar uh, out of one forty nine for two bucks. Parsons, Luca Greenice talked about it earlier with the Pippin. That's the Fanatics exclusive. Mahomes Red Ice LT. Uh, got 10 bucks on it, but it is 21 of 250, which is jersey number. You guys know I love that stuff. Uh, Dallas Clark. I thought this was cool. If you've watched the channel before, you've really watched the channel. Donnie Nicky, my all time PC, uh, is from 2003's H Hit, just like Dallas Clark. Uh, he's one of the better two or three guys to pull from that. Jason Witten's the top guy, uh, but Clark was one of Manning's best targets over the years. Iowa stuff always sells. Figure we'll take a chance on that. Show some uh, love to Donnie Nicky's rookie rookie class. Uh, Warren Moon Panini one RPA Watt out of four. Figured that could be timely with his retirement. I think he'll be remembered as a Texan. I, I feel pretty confident in that. So select the die cut. And this is also 2017, which I think is cool because that's Mahomes' year and that stuff's really expensive now. The pink ones from this should likely be from the National Silver Packs. They were not inserted into packs. So that's where the pink parallels come from, the numbered ones. Some are numbered to 10. If you watch the LeBron video, I have some LeBrons out of 10 um, from the national parallels. But since it's 2017, it's Watt, Texan, he just retired. Again, just about the moment on that. And then a Garland purple 10. Uh, some more Garland. You got a Ruby Wave 10. Cavs are good. Garland's good. Pretty liquid in shop. Fields, Burrow, Jerry Rice downtown. Again, downtown up there with the the Kabooms, Color Blast, some of the other SP insert stuff that seems to uh, always be in demand. All right, some more stuff. Fields, Optic, Blue Jersey, Fryermuth. Mac Jones, rookie out of eight. Had 55 on it. I thought that was pretty high, but we've been asked for Mac stuff on whatnot lately, so I figured I would, I would grab it. Uh, Jerry Judy, Bosa. This is actually a sneaky one. I kind of talked about this in the vlog, and I, again... Now that I'm looking back on it, I'm like, I forgot to talk about this. Uh, Dion's kid over at Colorado. These actually have some pretty strong comps. Some really strong comps on this. I think I saw some at the time that were like 150 to 200 range. There's some pretty strong comps. I think this is one of his only autos. So I thought that was actually pretty cool. I had to like do a double take when I first saw it. Uh, Brady Red Ice for five bucks. A little color match. So that was cool. Burrow. This is actually a rookie. With Geno Atkins, I know he isn't Joe Burrow, but a, a rookie Burrow from Contenders Optic for five bucks, sure. Uh, Damian Harris, FOTL out of 25, Fields, Burrow, rookie. Charles Haley at a 15 auto for 15 bucks, sure. Uh, Jesse Sapalu, Niner Selwell, and it's a tie-dye die-cut auto from a top five product in football, select. Again, repetition, I, I don't know anything about Jesse Sapalu. Uh, I'm probably mispronouncing the name, but a die cut of the Niners, popular all-time team, uh, a guy I don't know a lot about and I have not seen a lot of cards in 17 years of doing this. It's numbered. There's just a lot of things about it. I'm like, this might be one of those cards that makes sense. You buy it at 12 bucks, and if it doesn't work out, you're probably still getting eight for it. 
right? So it's not a huge loss to learn, but I could do 40, and now I know in future value boxes or at future shows that Jesse Sapalu sells well, right? So a, a part of some of these random buys over the years uh, are for the knowledge and the repetition of stuff like that. Uh, again, Chuck Noll, Bill Cower, two of the best, if not the best two uh, all-time Steelers coaches. I think uh, Tomlin is not going to be far from that conversation. He's, I don't think he's ever had a losing season in Pittsburgh. All-time guy, but these are legends and for three, four bucks a piece. Uh, Huge Manzada and Chad Johnson, Jerry Porter, old school Brandon Mayweather, literally old school. That's the insert. Uh, but was a Patriot. Thought that was cool. The U. David Andrews, numbered rookie. That's a Patriots all-time guy. Uh, doesn't have many cards. Greg Newsom, Nick Chubb. All right, so we'll move that big stack out of the way. We're making some progress, but again, we bought a lot of a lot of cool stuff. Uh, speaking of cool, this next one is probably the coolest card I bought the entire trip. Uh, Derek Jeter, one of five tops platinum anniversary. Or, yeah, top platinum anniversary. Red refractor auto, uh, one of one of five. Said the Pia, the I think it was raw, but it was two of five jersey number. Did fifteen hundred, but there's some comps and some like base ones and some orange that are anywhere from like six to nine hundred. Uh, so comps on this are all over the place. Has me a little concerned, but it's Jeter. It's red. It's out of five tops on card auto. Again, sometimes just take a chance and see what happens. Doug Williams, this card was $5. I didn't look this up. This man won a Super Bowl and was Super Bowl MVP, and it was $5. I'll, I'll buy it for $5. Again, repetitions matter. I don't know what Doug Williams ought to sell for. I would have guessed this is a $20 card for a Super Bowl winning quarterback, uh, Super Bowl MVP quarterback. We'll see. That's the same price as this Drake London uh, napkin jersey. This was $5, and this was $5. Sometimes it's... It's crazy. Uh, Russell Wilson, Cortland Sutton at a 49. Never know with Sean Payton. I'll buy it for five bucks. Ryzen, uh, Traylon Burks, XRC, Lance, JT, uh, Rogers, Watt, Tolbert. Uh, Tolbert, that's 18 of 199. Jersey number. Uh, Chris Cooley, Ice, Dak, Sky Moore, Herbert, and Rondell Moore. That's the throwback auto. What year is that from? 01, that's what it is. Drew Brees, LT, Mike Vick, Robeck, Rondell Moore. Uh, some more stuff. Uh, Chris Collinsworth, what is this? Marble Auto out of five. Uh, Lance, 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 uh, Walter Jones Auto. Lineman at sell every now and then. Found some 50 cent stuff. Didn't look in many, many value boxes that were less than like two bucks. But found some 50 cent stuff. Uh, Parsons, Hurts, My House, Hollow, Nick Bolton, Blue Hyper, and a Fields Elite Series rookie. So, got those. Cheapest cards of the weekend. Uh, Albert Pujols, Relic. Uh, jersey number, Amon Green. Amon Green has like five guys in cards that really collect his stuff. So, I figure one of them will want that. Uh, Jay Jets numbered it. This is one off his jersey number. PSA 9. It's crazy because the last PSA 9 sold for less than the last Raw one. Uh, so I think there's a little bit of, a little bit of room built into that just based off comps. I, I, I don't anticipate a PSA nine selling for less than raw again, truthfully. But we'll see. Uh, Joe Burrow four PSA nine silvers, two of the phenomenon and two of the base. So you got those. I got an Eloy slab, J Rod rainbow foil ten. Did get some vintage. Uh, again, don't do as much of it, but it is pretty liquid for us. Mantle, Banks, Maris, Mays, and Ted Williams. So 59, you got a couple, uh, you got 58, 59, 61, and 67. You got a 2, a 3, a 3, a 3, and a 2. So low grade, but some, uh, some bigger names for sure. All right, and we got some NASCAR. Got a Chase Elliott Auto, a Rondale Moore Patch Auto. Thought this was nice. Lavernius Coles. Uh, like a little Reebok tag. Quay Walker, stud. Uh, Kenneth Walker, also a stud. Bruce Matthews, Ogden Auto. John Hanna. It's funny, not many people know this. Uh, early on, this has been 08, 09, like early on in my card collecting career. 
uh, I collected John Hanna. I remember going to the National and asking if anyone, hey, do you have any John Hanna cards? He didn't have a lot back then. He signed a little bit more recently. Uh, he had like 2007 or 2008 absolute patches. He had National Treasure stuff. Like he had a few things. Uh, but I remember people saying, one guy in particular at the National, this would have been in Baltimore back in like 08 or 09. This would have been like Steven Strasburg rookie year. I remember right where I was, a guy said, is that the guy that works at the zoo? And as an Ohio guy, and knowing who they're talking about, Jack Hanna, those are completely different people. Um, but I just remember collecting John Hanna. He was the first Patriot to get in the Hall of Fame. Um, so collecting back in the day, my dad grew up liking the Patriots. I've told this before, but uh, my dad was a, a Patriots fan growing up, liked John Hanna. That's where I got it from. So collected him back in the day. Used to have some cool stuff, but didn't have a lot of cards and ended up moving them. Uh, Hosmer. I thought these are cool. This stuff sells well. This is Gilded Collection Baseball at a 25 Brooks Robinson. Uh, some white sparkles. There's a few in this deal. Uh, uh, Betts, Jordan, Vlad, and Seiya Suzuki. There's another one coming up. Uh, Ellie, Stud, Hunter Green, Spencer Sanders, Trenton Simpson, another Ellie. There it is right there. J-Rod, probably the, one of the guys in baseball that... I don't follow it a lot, but I know that this guy's name, he's just, he's all we get asked for in terms of baseball, really. Uh, picked up some IU stuff. Got one of the guys that works for me that loves the Hoosiers. Uh, so I pick up stuff when I see them, stuff that they'll appreciate, stuff I know I would want as a Buckeye fan. So patch autos, low numbered prism autos, low numbered prism parallels, and a one of one. So these will be gifts. They are not for sale. Uh, Romeo Langford, Langford, Air Gordon 101, and Romeo Langford. So, those are gifts. Cool card. That's why I bought it. Super cool card. Uh, Desmond Howard out of 25 victory signatures. I cannot stand Desmond Howard. I'm sure many people would say that about me. So, I uh, I totally respect that. But, uh, Desmond Howard victory signatures. Impeccable. Uh, it's like a Super Bowl parallel uh, out of 25. Thought it was cool. Howard sells as much as I hate Michigan. Uh, he definitely sells. So, it is what it is. Uh, Alexander, contenders out of 99. Uh, some slabs from that deal. Uh, JT, 9. Jaw, 9. Uh, Garland, 10. Wander, 10. Uh, first year Prism, World Cup. Uh, Donovan and Forlan, 9. AJ Dillon, Red Flood out of 26, I think. Yeah, 26. 1 of 26. And a select RPA, 1 of 5. So, I know they just signed, uh, re-signed Aaron Jones. He took, like, a pay cut. But A.J. Dillon is a beast, and he collects cards. Uh, Fields, stud. Is he going to win his third MVP in a row? This dude's a stud. The Joker, out of 49 on card. O'Neal Cruz, uh, got a little char uh, Charmeleon, 10. Uh, cheap Pokemon slab. Kenny Pickett Auto, out of 49. Kenneth Walker, a sauce. Kenneth Walker. It's 70 bucks in this. I didn't look, but the greatest show on turf, I'll take a chance on it at that, that price. I don't think it's a bad price. And then Chris Olave, comps on this. We talked about it in the vlog. I think this was the first card we bought in day one. You had comps on this at like $60 and then comps at $150. They were just all over the place for different numberings. So we'll see, but nice Chris Olave. Now, I made a deal with a younger collector who had some pretty good value boxes. I don't do a lot of baseball, but you guys know that. Uh, but I found these in the dollar box. Didn't look any of them up. I just knew the names and feel, felt like they would be pretty good. So this is what I got. Uh, J-Rod, uh, Cabrera Mega, Cabrera Chrome, uh, Vaquero, first Mega, first, 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 all Chrome, Wit, uh, Zavala, first, Arius, first, first, first. These are all... There's two guys here. These are Jackson Holiday first. Uh, I didn't mean to buy those. I don't know who Zach Neto is. I didn't mean to buy those. I, pro I promise. Uh, Elijah Green was the guy I was meaning to buy and somehow ended up with a couple Zach Nettos I didn't know anything about. Um, so I accidentally bought those, but Elijah Green, Jackson Holiday, that's who I was going for. Did mean to buy those. And then some of these were in twos and some of these were in fives. But I thought the value boxes were pretty good. I bought a bunch of first Bowman autos that were in a $2 box. 
to me, this is a, I'll buy them at $2 and stick them back for five years. And if they're ever of anything in value at five years, cool. If not, they're probably still worth 50 cents or a dollar. And it's just not a big enough loss to, to really matter. Uh, so I just bought most of these at two bucks a piece. I basically bought everybody that I didn't think was a pitcher. So you got those. Again, some of these might be fives. At some point, there's fives in here. Jordan Lawler, card collector and stud. Mac Jones at a 25. Sam Howe, Joey Votto, Cam Thomas, John Riggins. I think those are all two bucks, but I don't remember. I bought all of these in a deal. The comps on this are all over the place. They're like three to eight dollars, but there's 23 or 25 uh, J Rod Bowman Chromes. So get asked for them. Might as well have a cheap option. Then did get some cool baseball stuff again. Try to get the names I know. I obviously know who Arenado is, but some of the prospecting stuff I don't follow as much. Uh, out of 75, Arenado out of 199. He's a Cardinal, I believe. Uh, Churio, nice J Jets auto. Uh, Marcus Allen, Scary Terry, Brooks Robinson, Tier One, Kenneth Walker, Hutchinson. I uh, got a Mahomes jersey from Spectra. JMO, and then a Metcalf Gold downtown. Haven't seen any of these out in a long, long time. Downtown, another popular insert, uh, but a gold even cooler. Eight of ten, so I grabbed that. And then another cool deal. Um, family had some really cool stuff. I picked out some stuff, but they had an awesome collection. Cam Newton, 101. Uh, Jason Witten, Kelsey out of 10. McCaffrey, Mahomes out of 3. FOTL, comps on this are insane for a base. Uh, Brees Hall, Brees Hall, Sauce, more Brees Hall, Drake London. I think that's a cool insert. Panini's uh, added it a little bit. They weren't as cool in the past, but I like the landscape on those. Uh, Christian Erickson, that'll be a gift for Tyler. Uh, if you watch Card Talk, listen to the podcast, he likes uh, Christian Erickson. Garrett Wilson, Sauce Gardner, and Otani jersey. Probably the nicest Sauce Gardner we bought. We bought a few. That's probably the nicest. Two of five, or helmet piece in a football. Uh, Miko Hardman, Manning at a 25, Chris Carter 101, Fred Warner, uh, Sauce Gardner, Burrow, Brees Hall, Brees Hall at a 5, Mahomes at a 49. A really nice patch on this Kyle Wilson or Kyle Trask uh, ball piece from Absolute. And then last but not least, uh, I got a Trey Lance Optic Hollow 9. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in San Francisco. Going to move Jimmy G. Lance and Purdy are both coming off injuries. Who knows what the Niners are going to do. Uh, Waddle numbered. O'Neal Cruz, uh, Magenta Speckle Refractor 10. This is a pretty cool gift. Uh, out of 25, Braxton Miller for the PC. Uh, Jerry Rice and Amari Cooper out of 25. Fortunately, Henry Ruggs is on there. Uh, Jabari Small. Tried going in for some Bowman U. I didn't see a lot of it. I wanted to pick up some. Uh, didn't see much, but do have a super of Jabari Small. Uh, Burrow. Hertz number. Made some deals with some younger collectors who were uh, looking to make some deals. So that is what I uh, that's what I did. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Again, this show is in the middle of nowhere, Indiana, and it is one of my favorites. We, we always pick up so much there. Uh, I feel like we picked up a little bit less than last time and still feels like we got a ton. Uh, so again, I think there's some, I think the next one is in Memorial Day. Um, so if you're in the area, feel free to stop by. Another successful show. We'll sort this. We'll work on processing this stuff very soon. What not. Shop. Uh, some of it we'll keep. You guys know the deal. We'll work on getting it out for sale very, very soon. So bear with me on that. But shout out to those of you that made it this far. Stay tuned, guys. Some very cool card content is coming soon. But for now, that's all I got. Peace, guys. <laughs> <laughs>